We've been talking about all of the electronic technology rigged out on my Nitro Z8 bass boat that gives me a big advantage when I'm out on the water and helps me put more fish in the boat of all species. But one of the things I'm most reliant on is my charts, and there have been some developments in electronic charts that absolutely blow my mind. So let's go back to the Lowrance HDS, and I want to show you right here the first new technology is the satellite photo overlay. This is the Navionics Hot Maps Platinum chart with all the detail. It's actually a little card that you stick in the card slot right in this door, close it up, and it brings up all this detail. Not only can you see all of the contour and topography of all the little channels and all the drop-offs in Lake Fork, but now you can actually see a satellite photograph overlaid over the top that shows you all of the land area around the shoreline so you can see parks, roads, and all of the land features. And maybe the coolest feature of all is the 3D feature on the Platinum Charts. I now have it in 3D mode and I can actually do a flyover over Lake Fork. I can actually in three-dimensional view fly over the lake. See, we're flying up the little caney arm right here. And I can just fly up there and look up all these little creeks and then I can fly backwards and fly right back down to the dam. It is unbelievable the technology built into these new Navionics Platinum Charts. That's the hot maps for freshwater. And if you live along the coast and want to get all the saltwater detail, you get the Navionics Platinum Plus Charts for saltwater. Check them out in your local retailer or look at them online at Navionics.com. Right now, let's go to Louisiana. Here's Cajun Phil and Kevin with your reports from there this week. The Navionics Hot Maps Platinum Chart for all the detail, and by the way, the new Navionics cards are the new micro SD cards that come in an adapter. You place that card in the slot on the HDS5 and the software automatically recognizes it. The lake is 3,200 surface acres. Well, let me uh, make good on one more promise I gave you at the beginning of the show. I told you that I would show you the kinds of areas that you can find white bass, hybrids, and even stripers in this time of the year. I always look for something elevated off the floor of the lake. I'll show you on some of my Navionics charts here what some of these spots look like. They can be a long, skinny underwater point running out into at least 20, 25 feet of water. It can be an underwater hump like this one, just a round underwater island coming off the floor of the lake, or it can be an underwater ledge off a major creek or river channel dropping off into deep water. There's one more right there. We'll reel him in and tell you that these kind of spots, when you find them in the summertime, can be absolutely deadly. You can get well. All right, well, then welcome back, everybody. Your Southwest Outdoors report is rolling on, and right here, you can see I've thrown out a marker buoy on the brush pile I'm fishing out here, and we are in open water. So we talked about early. It's location, location, location. You got to pick the right spot for your brush pile where it's the only thing around, and that's exactly what we have here. Now let's talk about marking it. Now right now I've thrown that marker buoy out, but you don't want to leave a marker buoy around because everybody else will know where your brush pile is. So a couple of ways to do it. First of all, mark it with a waypoint on your GPS. Now I've got the world's greatest. It's a Lowrance system with the HDS system in it and a good Navionics Hot Maps Platinum chart. That's the best way. I have brush pile locations all over our region in lakes in Oklahoma, Texas, and Louisiana.